Doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and breathtaking. It's the, it's the voice of the Lord through the numerical pattern of the Bible, guys. Uh, today we're going to show y'all how the worlds were framed by the Word of God, Hebrews 11.3. It'll let you know that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. And what that means is that God calls these numbers names. We call them numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He calls them names. Two meaning division, double for your trouble. Three meaning direction and four meaning change. And today we're going to go over that today. But we first start in scripture. And the way you see that through scripture is you always go in sequence. So you go the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You don't say the Son, the Father, the Holy Ghost. So you start with twos first, guys. Okay, so two in the Bible means division first, double for your trouble. Uh, always comes in sequence. You can't have one without the other. Depending on how you react upon your division is how appropriately, uh, by the word of God, is how fast your double for your trouble comes in sequence. So say, for instance, uh, Judas had to kiss Jesus to give us the blood and the spirit. We couldn't have got the blood and the spirit if Judas hadn't kissed Jesus first. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Two cause division. I burped while I was doing that. That's funny. In the name of Jesus, Lord, sorry for the interruption. Father, I just ask that you get me back on course right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I just praise and glorify and edify you for this great word that pours out of my belly like living water, Lord. Okay, guys, so two cause division. You got to divide from your flesh to become born again in the spirit. That's division double for your trouble. Romans 8, 6, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's division double for your trouble. Okay, uh, the way you see it through scripture also is, is he makes it rain. Uh, uh, the sunshine on the evil and the good, and he makes it rain on the just and the unjust. That's the vision double for your trouble. Okay? Uh, you got to beware of, of the false prophets, the wolves in sheep's clothing. That's the vision double for your trouble. Okay, guys? But uh, the way you see it through testimonies is the animals walk to the ark two by two. Moses wrote the Ten Commandments on two tablets of stone. Uh, you got the blind man was covered with mud first, the vision. Then he saw through two eyes, double for his trouble. Okay, Naomi and Ruth divided between their husbands, but Naomi got, uh, I mean, Ruth got Boaz, and Naomi got Ruth and Boaz. That's the vision double for your trouble. Rahab helped the two spies. That's the vision double for your trouble. Okay, you got the two men that seeked out the land of milk and honey. That's the vision double for your trouble. The two men that seeked out the land of milk and honey. They divided first and got double for your trouble, guys. Okay, but three in the Bible means direction. So the way you see three in direction is in Hebrews through Scripture first. Hebrews 13, 8, when Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So what he did back then in that time period is safe to say he still does in this time period. Okay? Uh, 2, Corinthians, uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7, For the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and sound mind. Uh, you got Romans uh, 3, uh, 5, 3, and 4. To glorify your Father for tribulations. Through trials and tribulations produce perseverance. Perseverance produces character and character produces hope. Okay, you got uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Hope, faith, and charity are the greatest, but the greatest of these three are charity. John 10, 10 will let you know that the devil's here to steal, kill, and destroy your joy. Okay, guys, every single three in the Bible means direction. He's trying to direct you away from that. Problems come in three and deaths come in three. It's really chastisements coming three because he's trying to direct you away from your sin. And Job 5.18, for he bruises, but he binds up and he wounds. Three bad things, but his hands make whole. So that's the fourth option. We'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. But Abraham, he saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day. And Moses was hid for three months. And Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction. And 1 Kings chapter 17, uh, verse 21, Elijah prays over a widow's dead son three times and brings him back to life. David prays three times a day. Uh -uh. Daniel prays three times a day. Daniel's three friends. We got Job's three friends. You got David beat the lion, the bear, and the Philistine. And Samson got tempted by Delilah three times. And Joshua took three days to cross the Jordan. And you got, I mean, it's every single testimony. All the way down to Jesus and the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection. He preached the gospel for three years and he got crucified at the age 33, guys. That's a lot of threes to prove just in Jesus Christ's life alone that three means direction. Okay? It's in every single testimony. Numbers chapter 22. A man's on a donkey. Him and two servants. It's, it's three people riding down the road. Right? A, an angel gets in front of his donkey. Makes him bear off the path three times. Okay? So that's him, a donkey, and an angel. 
and the angel makes the donkey bear off the path three times and he whips him three times. That's a lot of threes just in that one story. <laughs> I mean, it's so beautiful. 10,000 men went on down to 300 men and win the war. You know, it's in every single testimony. Three means direction. Four in the Bible means change. So God changed the man and they wrote four gospels. Samson got tempted three times by Delilah, but that fourth time he changed back to regular man. He told his two powers. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are going to change the world as we know it. Okay, you got Lazarus was dead three days. That fourth day he changed back to being alive. All right, everybody knows Daniel's three friends and the fourth looking like the Son of God. They changed because they didn't bow to bail. Okay, the way you see that through Scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I acted like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Job 5, 18. For he bruises, but he binds up and he wounds, but his hands make whole. In Luke chapter 19, it talks about a man named Zacchaeus, I believe is how you pronounce it. And, and, and Jesus was like, have you, uh, but you stuff, uh, all these men was mocking him. He's like, Lord, I've given back fourfold. Lord, I've changed. I've given it all back to them. What I've taken, I've given it back fourfold. <laughs> See, four means change in the Bible. So Hebrew true scripture, one of the truest scriptures I've ever I've ever learned and been taught by the Holy Spirit and gave full understanding of. Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did back then is definitely safe to say he still does to this day. So remember, the twos go with twos, the threes go with threes, the fourth, and the fours go with fours. You ready? So you got two cause division, but it's double for your trouble. You got interstate and a highway. This is black and red and blue. I mean, this is blue, red, and white. This is black and white. Okay, so that's division, double for your trouble. Okay? But then you got three for direction. Each sign, east, interstate 30, and the third sign down, each your direction. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, guys? So that's three for direction. Now here's how four changes. Fours go with fours. One, two, three, four. Okay? Each one of these signs have three signs apiece. But the fourth ch saint sign changes to a big green sign. It's a different color than the rest. And it's got four directions to go to. And it's got four arrows. See, you guys? You see, Samson, he divided between God and the Spirit by Delilah and the Philistines. The Philistines plucked out two eyes, strapped two arms to two pillars. But he repented. He reacted appropriately to God's word. Like Job did when he lost his children in possession. He praised God for his problems and he got twice as much back. Well, Samson, he, he, he repented and he reacted appropriately to God's word. And the little boy helped Samson put two arms on two pillars. And he killed twice as many in his death than he did in his life. That's division double for your trouble. The twos go with twos. That's exactly what you see in there. See, Samson, divided between God and the Spirit by Delilah and the Philistines. See? Jesus in the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection, preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33. You ready to see that on the road sign? Jesus in the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, and went through life, death, and resurrection. See? <coughs> see, guys? Oh, no, this is it. You got three arrows that go straight. Boom. And four change. See? <laughs> see? So three of your arrows go straight, four go to the left. And that's how you see it. Fours go with fours too. If you look up first Kings chapter um, six verses one, it, it lets you know that uh it, it was a four hundred and eightieth uh something four hundred and eighty years and it was in the fourth year that Solomon reigned in the month of Ziv. And Ziv is April. So it's the fourth month. So the fours go with fours in 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 1. And also here, you got one, two, three, big, three little signs that are, that are uh, different colors. The fourth one changes to a green sign with four places to go, four arrows, and then you got four left turns. See, guys? So the fours go with fours. <laughs> Ain't that amazing? Ain't God's word prevailing? Ain't, ain't it never ending? Ain't it, ain't it everlasting, everlasting? Ain't it never, never, never changing, never corruptible? It's an imperishable crown. It's an imperishable crown, guys. I mean, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life is the true powers of the Holy Spirit teaching me all this while I'm teaching y'all. I'm just driving down the road and I've never seen this. I've seen this sign a million times, but I've never seen it in this light before as the light gets brighter on me. <laughs> I just love this. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, I just ask that you guide who you want to be guided to you, Father. Draw nigh to you who you want to draw nigh to them. Lord, I just ask that you show them the way, the truth, and the life. I ask that you remove me out of the presence, Father, so they can see the Holy Spirit's word prevailing up out of this normal human being who is not a normal human being no more, but is now a vessel of the Lord and who is willingly and lovingly carrying your word in the way that you want me to carry it, Father, and to guide it and direct it to each and every ear that you want them to hear, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, I ask that you do this for your salvation, for your glory, for your honor, for your majesty to be heard, Father, for your honor, for your glory, for the true powers of the Holy Spirit to prevail in each and every one of your vessels that you want to hear this. Show them the way, the truth, and the life through this message, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, we just praise you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, jump on board, please. You're not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. One last time.